Uh, we're going to make Amish friendship bread. Or cake, or bread, or something. I don't know what they call it. Alright, let's do this. We need one cup of milk. One cup of flour. And one cup of sugar. Here you go. And believe it or not, this stuff is not refrigerated. All right, there's one cup. Uh, one cup of sugar. And one cup of flour. Now you're gonna leave this sit on the counter for five days. <laughs> I know it's the craziest stuff, man. All right, there it is. I believe the sugar is what preserves the milk. Sugar is a very good preservative. All right, so this is day one. Tomorrow, all we do is we stir it. The next day, all you do is you stir it. You do that for five days. I'm telling you, this is the best tasting stuff. It, this stuff is unreal. All right, that's that. See you tomorrow. Day number two. There it is, Amish friendship bread or cake or whatever you call it. All we're going to do is stir it. That's all you're supposed to do on day number two. Stir it up. There we go. Day two. Milk, sugar, and flour. Yo, here we go. Day number three, Amish bread. This is it. It's the third day. Sitting on the counter. Doing nothing. We're just supposed to stir it every day for five days. That's what we're doing. Every day for five days. Mojo, take it easy, buddy. Alright, that's it. Put the lid back on. Day number three. See ya. Yo, yo, yo. Day four. Amish friendship cake. Here we go. Day number four. Look at that stuff right there. All you're supposed to do is stir it up every day for five days. Dashing through the snow. Hey, 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 mojo. There you go. I know you, ye of little faith. This stuff is freaking gourmet. Ay, 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 ay. You just don't worry about it. This crap is gourmet. Okay, there we go, day four. It has been stirred. Tomorrow, day five, we add <coughs> some... Uh, we add more milk, more eggs, I mean, uh, more milk, more sugar, and more flour. And then we go five more days.
trying to I'm trying to be friends with everyone. I don't care what you do or what you do. I don't care what you do or what you do. I try to be friends with everyone. I do that by drama and I don't want to see the person with the drama. Because I try to be friends with people who respect me and they don't call me or you train me. So I want to be friends. All right, let's do this. Amish friendship cake, day number 10. Look at how bubbly this is, man. Whoa. All right, we're going to transfer this into a bigger bowl. We got a lot of stuff to add. So here we go. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, man. All right, now to this, <coughs> we are going to add three cups of oil. This is going to make quite a bit. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to separate this into three. You're supposed to give two, two of them away as starters to your friends. That's why it's friendship bread or friendship cake or whatever the hell they call it. And then you're supposed to take the other third and make the bread out of it or the cake. All right, now we're going to add nine eggs.
Okay, six cups of flour. We already know there's six cups of flour and two two pounds. It's uh, it's actually a little bit more, so I'm not going to add it all. Oops. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon is two tablespoons. Cup and a half of milk. One tablespoon and and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, vanilla. We need uh, one tablespoon of vanilla. Three cups of sugar and it's ready. <coughs> A lot of sugar. Some sweet shit here. Woo, mama. All right. We have to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. Um, yeah, this stuff's been sitting on the counter for 10 days. You know what I mean? <laughs> the milk has been there for 10 days sitting on the counter. So I don't think you'd want to lick the beaters. I'm not sure. I don't know. Now I didn't use uh, cake flour, I just used <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now we're going to add in the nuts. You could use pecans, walnuts, Macadamia nuts. I'm using walnuts just for the heck of it. I was going to add walnuts and uh, macadamias, but I forgot. I forgot the macadamias, so we're stuck with just walnuts. But I'm sure it's going to be dynamite. All right. Boy, this looks good. Woohoo! All right, let me, let me get this off in here. I pre-greased the pans. I greased them and I put flour in so they don't stick. Oh yeah, baby. Oh man, that's nice. I gotta tell you, this is the best stuff. It really is. And it's so strange that you keep it on the counter. You know, it's like it's like sourdough bread, you know? Sourdough 
uh, you add milk and then you you keep it at room temperature for a couple days four or five days and then what you do is you you take a starter well actually you you mix your other flour in with it but then you take a starter out of it some starters have been around since oh man who knows how long Looks like we're going to need one more pan. Uh, some, some bakeries brag that their starters are from, you know, like 1915. If you, um, you know, some bakeries out in California that they, they've been in business that long, that they brag that their starters are that old. Which, I don't know could be true but what they do is they take a, a small portion of it before they make the dough and they put that on the side and that's the starter for the sourdough for the next batch and like I said some bakeries claim that their starters are you know 100 years old it's kinda like brewers yeast uh, you know yeast for some beers they just they, they keep that uh, that strain of yeast going for years and years and years all right these are going in the oven see you later it doesn't get any better than this right here here we go these are the Amish friendship cake they're hot as hell uh, uh, as far as the um, as far as leaving the milk on the counter for five days without or for ten days without refrigeration don't worry about any kind of bacteria uh, the internal temperature of these cakes is 200 degrees uh, I'm sure that will kill any bacteria that's in there at all anything so I wouldn't worry about the bacteria. I heard some comments from some little people that said the bacteria was uh, not a good thing. Uh, but anyway, there they are. Man, they're good as hell. I've already tried a piece. I took a piece out of this one. Man, this stuff is dynamite. Uh, the, the other one that's in the glass Corningware, it's still in the oven. It's uh, it's not quite done yet. It was a little bit more dough than this, but these are done. Gourmet dynamite stuff. It was worth waiting ten days. All right, I'll see y'all later. Time to eat. See you.